So I'm actually going to give you one big fat takeaway up front here, and that is every single piece of content should serve a purpose. As you can see, I am in my kitchen right here, and there's lots, it's a pretty small kitchen, there are lots of appliances, and every single one serves a purpose. This one does, this one does, this one does, this one does. The point is, this is a small kitchen, and we don't have room for appliances that don't have a job in here, that don't have a purpose. Your blog and business is the same way. You don't have all the time in the world, you don't have all the resources in the world. Each piece of content needs to be serving a purpose. I'm about to give you a really good example of my own strategy on YouTube. It's not just for getting like new eyeballs and new subscribers, it's actually geared towards a much more profitable purpose, which I'm gonna share in just a second. As a content creator, it can be incredibly easy to fall back into this feeling of I'm producing aimlessly. It's like I'm, I'm pumping out content, but I'm not sure if it's actually leading me towards like the right direction or focus. I feel lost, I'm not making as much money as I want to be. In this video, I'm actually going to walk you through my blog content strategy, how I use all the channels, podcasting, YouTube, blogging, SEO put together to grow my business in 2020. <laughs> What's going on, Blog Tribe? Pete here from Do You Even Blog. It's the channel for bloggers and podcasters who want to make money over the internet. So I mentioned the words direction and focus. I really love those words. I feel like that's the big downside to not having like a comprehensive blog content strategy. You're probably not growing as fast as you could be. You might be getting overwhelmed. I could try blogging and SEO and Pinterest. I could try podcasting or YouTube. I have all these different things I could do. I think it's incredibly important to do what I'm about to teach you how to do. And I'm going to share my own example. Think through the overall content strategy and how it's going to serve to grow your business. I'm going to just tell you my example, which you're welcome to steal, but it's probably not going to work for you. <laughs> but you can learn from it and hopefully get some BFTs. BFT stands for Big Fat Takeaway. They're going to help you grow your own blog, get more direction and focus. My two favorite words ever. That's so good. All right, let's dive into the strategy here. Here is my content strategy. Here's the overview. It's actually a sequence of processes. Four things. Number one, new eyeballs. Grow the brand. Get more traffic. Get more views. Get more downloads. New eyeballs. Number two, immediately introduce people to me and my brand and my style. For example, at the top of this video, what did I say? What's up, everybody? I'm Pete from Do You Even Blog. It's the show for bloggers and podcasters who want to make money on the internet. I've started doing this with every single piece of content I produce, especially here on YouTube and the podcast, because I want to get new eyeballs to immediately understand, is this for me? Is following Pete from Do You Even Blog for me? Yes or no? Who is this for? I'm trying to answer that. ASAP. Is this for me? Is following Pete like worth my time? Is watching Pete's YouTube videos worth my time? Who is this for? Oh, yes, I'm a blogger or podcaster looking to build a business on the internet. That's my that's my people. That's my tribe. The third part of this strategy is converting those people into followers across multiple channels, not just an email list, not just Instagram, converting the new eyeballs who now know who this brand is for into followers. And the last step, number cuatro, is getting those people as students. So I have a few smaller courses and products, but really I'm trying to get people as students in my podcasting course, pod course, which will launch soon, and online impact. That's the bottom where I want people to go. And the other part of number four is just continue to be followers. Even if they don't like pay me money for anything, like become a student, I still want people who are going to be around for the long term, true fans. That's the fourth part of my content strategy. Okay, the meat and potatoes, how I'm producing content to grow the business. The channels are as follows. The podcast, the blog, the YouTube channel, pod course, social media. And as I explain these, by the way, I want you to remember three things. Number one, each piece of content serves a purpose. We already talked about that. Number two, I want you to notice how these work together to accomplish my overall strategy of acquiring new eyeballs, introducing them to the brand, converting them into followers, and then converting them into students. See how these work together to get all that done. And then third, I'm gonna tease a big fat takeaway, a BFT, check out my priorities. So first up at the podcast, I continue podcasting to build relationships with other influencers, but also to build brand. A few people find me through the podcast, but once they hear my voice, they hear my passion, it builds trust and authenticity, and I really get people into the brand through my podcast. By the way, it's also just 
my version of learning. I don't pay for a whole lot of online courses. I just invite their creators on the podcast and interview them and ask questions and learn. And the occasional backlink. So podcast episodes, they're not specifically for building links for SEO, but that actually happens a lot anyways. And so that's a nice little plus bonus to contribute towards SEO. All right, it's time to talk about the blog. I'm not doing a whole lot on the blog. My SEO traffic has gone down in recent months. It really wasn't that high to begin with. And quite frankly, I'm just not putting a lot of effort into it right now. For one thing, I've completely dropped Pinterest. I don't do anything on Pinterest anymore. Number two, I've scaled back dramatically promoting blog posts on social media, like auto scheduling out on Twitter and Facebook. I don't do hardly any of that anymore. I'm not running paid traffic right now. I have one channel for the blog and traffic, and that is SEO. And I'm not even producing a lot of SEO content right now or doing a lot of work there. However, and this is important, the only blogging for SEO I'm going to do in 2020 is for links and links alone, meaning I'm not actually producing a whole lot of content designed to rank yet. What I am gonna be doing is releasing a few posts that are gonna be more story-driven, data-driven, research, stuff designed to get links and links alone. I'm not done with you yet, SEO and blog traffic. You're just not my priority right now. So Pete, what is your priority? YouTube, where you're at right now. Thank you for watching. I love it. Hit subscribe, smash the subscribe, like button. YouTube is my primary acquisition channel for 2020, and it's also my priority. We're going to come back and talk about this in just a second. By the way, aside from just getting new eyeballs, that first part of my big content strategy, YouTube also serves two very important other purposes for me. Number one, I'm convinced it boosts SEO. Every single blog post I have that has a corresponding YouTube video, I get more views, I get more traffic, like it just helps for some reason. It's not gonna help for everybody, I don't know if I can recommend that for you, but it's worked for me. And number two, this is a BFT. I'm gonna say it again, because I just love it. Big fat takeaway, I want people to see me on video to learn my style. My upcoming course, pod course, has a lot of stuff in it, but it's primarily video based. Elementor Bloggers, my course is video based. Online Impact, I engage one-on-one -on -one with people in coaching. I want people to see on YouTube how I teach, how I interact. I want people to feel my passion. That was like super awkward. I want people to experience Pete. That's also super awkward. <laughs> YouTube is a great way for me to grow and let people experience the brand that is going to best prepare them for becoming a student for my courses. That's a huge benefit of YouTube to me right now. Another channel for me, my content strategy, is actually the course itself, PodCourse. Yes, I hope it makes money. Yes, I'm super excited to get students in here creating podcasts, but I'm also utilizing a very heavy affiliate strategy, meaning my course and brand are gonna be put in front of a lot of new people, and I'm actually banking on the fact that that's actually gonna send a lot of new eyeballs my way as well, just through launching PodCourse with affiliates. Last but not least, it's social media. I, I don't know what to do here, guys. It's social media. Be social. This is not a part of any content strategy other than maybe like converting people into lifelong followers that already follow me. I'm actually not super good at like acquiring new followers on social media, but I'd like to think I'm pretty good at engaging, answering questions whenever they come up, which will hopefully build followers for the long term. But yes, if you want to come work for me and take over my like Instagram strategy, please do, because I just don't care about it at all. FYI. I have another video about my online business strategy. This is a bunch of like Q and A's. People sent me email questions and I answer them. You go check out that video. It's really similar to this one, but there's some additional stuff there. You might find useful. All right, here are the big fat takeaway, the BFTs. Numero one, we already covered this, but your content should serve a purpose. Every single blog post, every single podcast episode, what is it leading people to? Is it leading people to online impact? Is it talking about those pain points that online impact solves? Is it leading people to pod course? Am I talking about podcasting? Am I talking about the pain points, the challenges? Am I talking about the transformation, the journey that are gonna lead people to pod course? Every piece of content should have a purpose. Number two, priority. What does that mean? In fact, you probably saw a lot of channels I mentioned just then. Podcast, blog, YouTube, SEO, social media, pod course. Let me tell you what focus means. Focus just means choosing a priority. My priority is YouTube. Why? Because I want to do it. I'm excited to do it. I'm good at it. It's going to help me grow the brand. Priority, priority, priority. That is my focus. It is YouTube. All those other channels still serve my content strategy to grow my business, but I have a priority and a focus. That's all focus means, choosing a priority. Number three, produce content not for growth. I mentioned 
my entire SEO strategy for this year, it's actually kind of lame and it's not going to help me grow immediately, but is to build links. And that content is not going to be specifically for search, for traffic, for like immediate traffic. I played that game. I'm just not into it right now. That's not what I'm doing. That's not my priority and focus. That content is going to be for links which will pay dividends in the future, but it's not for immediate growth. I'm thinking long-term here, and I'm thinking about how all my channels work together. That, and quite frankly, this also just builds brand. Producing content specifically not for growth, just for existing subscribers, existing fans. Just have fun with it. Do what matters. Do stuff not for growth. People see that, and they like it. Big fat takeaway number four, do what you want. What do you want to do? What kind of content do you want to do? What topics do you want to talk about? What formats do you want to hit? I love doing YouTube videos. This is what makes me happy. The takeaway is to find out how doing what you want to do fits into the overall content strategy that is going to get you more eyeballs, introduce people to the brand, more followers, more students. What's side? Figure out how to make the content you want to produce work in your overall strategy. There is a way. You just have to figure out what that is. So your next steps after thinking about some of these things, how your content is going to work for you, two things, two videos popping up right here. One is on my online business strategy, a little bit deeper into monetization. And then this other one is about creating a blog plan. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Do You Even Blog channel. If you're a blogger or podcaster who wants to make money on the internet, yes. Thank you guys for watching. Adios.